Hey everyone, Chris Shokiki back with a with my first ever video of 2022, and it's gonna be on the NECA Player Select Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden 2. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, I did review this type of figure before, but that figure was actually a bootleg of the official one. This right here is the official Ryu Hayabusa figure, and the bootleg. Well, unfortunately, the bootleg started to fall apart. And if I remember correctly, the the way to tell the difference between this and a bootleg is the skin tone on the arms are much darker, more like gray tone or something, and the fingernails were painted horribly, and the face, or the eyes I mean, were, one was, if I remember this I was looking forward, this one was kind of cocking to the side, but I checked this and both eyes are fine, both eyes are great. They look good, they're green colored as they should be, and again the fingernails look good, and the skin tone is much better textured. So yeah. And also the bootleg came in a clamshell packaging while the while the official figure, this guy, actually came in a blister card packaging. A card back packaging, I should say. But yeah, um this is gonna be a re-review of this guy. Um, this is the official one, like I said, this is not the bootleg. And another thing, the bootleg, one of the hands ended up breaking, the sword was broke, the scabbard was breaking, and yeah, it was starting to break and just... So what I did was I actually salvaged it. So as you can see here, this is the bootleg body, and as you can see, the skin tone on this guy is different from this guy. Yeah, I salvaged the torso, and I even salvaged the feet. So, in case, if this figure does end up breaking, and if you have, like, two of them, or the boule, you can swap parts on this guy. Now, yes, the, uh, oh, and I almost forgot the skin tone on these little gauntlet pieces here. If you can see that, just straight on his elbow. These are painted, while well, they weren't painted on bootleg though. But yeah, I got this guy today. I'm very happy with this. But anyway, take one let's look at the body. Like I said, if there's anything on this breaks, you can use the bootleg to, to swap out the parts. But anyway, I'm just gonna put those in there. <clears throat> but yeah, um, really great figure. Now, I actually tried playing Ninja Gaiden, mostly Ninja Gaiden Black, but that game was a pain in the ass. And Ninja Gaiden 2, from what I've seen gameplay footage of it, it's also a pain if you're playing on, like, the uh, difficulty that's higher than, I believe, Acolyte difficulty, because I think Acolyte difficulty is easier. But, I mean, I played Ninja Gaiden 3, and yeah, it's not the best in the series, but... I also, but I tried Ninja Gaiden Black and it was a pain. It was very hard if you're on Xbox. So yeah, very difficult game series. The first two, I, I should say, Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2 are very difficult. But anyway, enough of those games. Let's look at the, take a look at this figure. So yeah, this is the Ryu Hayabusa as he appeared in Ninja Gaiden 2. This is really freaking awesome. It's one of my favorite ninjas. And yes, unfortunately, kind of part of his little crest here it's kind of warped oh well but yeah this is an awesome looking figure I really do like how this figure is it just looks fantastic <clears throat> and well the little scarf here is a soft plastic I mean from the way it's sculpted it looks like actual like cloth but unfortunately it's not cloth. Oh well. And, but yeah. And these little straps here are rubber. Even on the on the arms. The straps on his chest, I don't think they're rubber actually. But yeah. And of course this one's or this one's a rubbery rubber too. Or I should say rubber a soft plastic. <coughs> Yeah, soft plastic, but really great figure. And as you can see, he's already holding some of his accessories. 
obviously you can see he has the tongue fuzz. He has alternate hands for the tongue fuzz. Well, on the figure he comes with a dragon sword holding hand and a type of gesture hand. Like, though if you want, you can use this like he's using the bow and arrow, but <clears throat> he doesn't come with a bow and arrow. And of course, he comes with his dragon sword. Now, unfortunately, on mine, there's a black strap. There's a black line bar there. I'm not sure if that's by mistake or if it was not painted. Painted, but yeah, unfortunately, it's there. Um, I don't know if you could take it off. I don't know if it's just black paint or if it was left unpainted. I don't know, but eh, it doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, it is kind of distracting, but. Eh. Place it back in the scabbard, and the scabbard is a separate piece, so you could kind of, kind of a, or not really a separate piece, but it's strapped in. But you can kind of move the scabbard up and down, since this little piece here is soft plastic too. <clears throat> and he also comes with some, with three kunai's, three kunai's, that can be removed. Now, the kunais that actually came with this guy weren't actually sculpted well. There was like excess plastic on it. So, these are actually the bootlegs kunais. But, yeah. <clears throat> but these look a whole lot better. And, yeah, this figure is fantastic. But anyway, guy, anyway I'm just going to remove the tongue fuss from his hands. And take a look at the figure. Alright. I believe this figure was made... I believe this is a reissue. What the... Well, looks like the left leg is bigger than the right. Longer than the right. Great. Well, that's an issue with some NECA figures. One leg tends to be lo longer than the other, and that's... I don't like that, but anyway... Here's Ryu. Again, really nice, really well detailed. Very articulated, since he's a ninja, he has to have a lot of articulation. <clears throat> and, well, yeah. Again, this is the official version. This is not the bootleg. This is not a bootleg, thank God. But, yeah. Um, imposability, he can move his head up that far. Move down that far, since the head and the neck are on a ball peg. I believe, yeah, double ball peg. You can kind of give him a head tilt. And of course, it rotates side to side. Sometimes it rotates on the neck, sometimes on the head, but no, no. His arms can fully rotate, though with the dragon sword it's kind of hindered. But with it out, you can fully rotate the arm. This arm, I mean. This arm is obviously free to rotate. You can swing the arm out to the side. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Now, this elbow was actually stuck. So I had to heat it up with my heat gun to get it to move. But now... Now I can easily bend it without any problem. Though there's kind of a, like, ratchet in there, which... Can be worrisome, but... Uh, at least it moves. Yeah, double jointed elbows. All hands can fully rotate and you can move back and forth. Now, so many hands isn't the problem, but they were kind of tight. They were kind of tight on the actual wrists, so be careful when you're swapping out the hands. Because also these hands here, specifically, keep getting unhinged because if you can see, there's a hole where the little peg goes in here. 
but there's no hole at the top and I literally had to take pliers and really plug the plug these back put these back together to make sure they stay on and yes there are some marks but again they keep being unhinged he could bend the torso for tor he, 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 ah. he has an ab crunch that could bend forward he could bend back he has a waist swivel with the scabbard out of the way his hips can move out that really far. They can rot they're on wide joints, so you have to rotate them to move forward. He has a thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. And his feet can fully rotate. They can move forward and back. He has a he has a bit of an ankle rocker. Not too much, but good enough. Yeah, he has a bit of an ankle rocker. It's mostly better on this ankle than this one. And he has toe articulation. So yeah, really well articulated, really great. Um, now it's not perfect because it looks like one, the right left leg is longer than the other one. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like one of them's one leg is longer. I don't know, but again, not perfect, but still not bad. And there's some excess plastic here. Get that off. But yeah, still a great figure. I highly recommend it. I actually, again, I got this from eBay for thirty bo thirty duck, ah, thirty dollars, which. Of course, plus taxes went up to 32, but it was worth it. Again, pick him up if you see him. This guy's awesome. I just wish he didn't have those issues. But anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.